guys, welcome back for another adventure. Today I will be going over the update. First we have the best partner um, outfit in the mall, which is like a doctor-nurse combo. So you can outright buy that in the mall. Then we have the labor medal, which is pretty much you go out and gather, uh, fight and stuff, and then you'll get these bolts and stuff that you can then trade in for these prizes that are on the sides. And then we have another version of the speed race. This one is a lot different than the ones we've had before because this one is done on the highway instead of the racetrack in Levin. So when you get on here, there's, depending on um, how many people are doing at the time, there will be up to four or six and you drive on the highway. So I was glitching when I was doing this. But, I think this might actually be the actual highway in the map that we're on, that was built by the players. Because some of the stuff you can actually fall off. And then it has these circles on here, you can get speed boost to help you. And then you also have to worry about um, falling off. But if you do fall off, it'll put you back on here. So you don't have to worry too much about that, it just slows you down. And then you are racing against the other players in here, so um, it's about your time, but it's also about who is ahead of everyone. Because overall, you want a good time, but in the actual race, you're up against the people who are in the race with you. see I got third place and this is an alt guys so don't get confused this is not my main account um, this is actually on the C server and then we have the lucky hunt that we can do if you want to and then of course we have duo training and then the caravan market which has a bunch of uh, repeat stuff which um, this I did all of this on the C server so if this stuff isn't in ours I'm sorry um, this is the new furniture we're supposed to be getting um, it's not in the caravan market yet so you can't get it just yet and also there's some new structure here that they're using like uh, we don't have triangle floors, but later on there's actually supposed to be a building box. So that might be part of the new building stuff that they're going to be putting out for us. Okay, so they added a new feature in the mall called Today's Picks. And it shows you everything that it suggests that you should get. So the outfit and then recommendations on the side. Alright, so there's a new update for the map. So if you go to this one that is a book, it kind of looks like a book, um, it will show you where all of the assistant quests are. Um, I wouldn't do navigation. So if you go to the helicopter and then do it this way, so you go to the helicopter, go to the book. And then you click on it and then you can proceed straight to the area where the um, operation you want to do is so that's one of the new features for the map the other is you can now go to the map go to area operations click on which one you want to do and you can quickly either join a team or make your own team so that you can get those done faster. So lastly for our server, they have made it to where you can freely build now. You don't have to pay a fee. The thing is completely gone. You don't pay new dollars now to renovate your manor. So you can literally just 
tear it down, change it whenever you want. So they even changed the buttons right here. And there's no delete button. The delete button was completely taken. It's just a recycle button now. So you can just freely do this now. And you don't have to worry about paying or even waiting a cooldown. You just do it whenever you want to now. Alright, and then last on our server, um, you can now go up to a manor and request to exchange foundation with them. Um, but if they have it blocked, you can't do that. So when you go to your manor, you go to your um, control panel and you hit this button down here. If it's on, it means you can't switch. And if it's off, then that means somebody can request to switch with you. All right, everything past here is only in the test and C servers. So I made an account on the C server so that I could go over here and show you guys the new camp layout, which we will most likely get in the next update. So they have completely gotten rid of the Levin City uh, outskirts as well as the island. So everybody is on the same map now. And right here, this is where the new um, invasion is going to be. So the update note said that the manors will no longer be attacked and we will just be defending those three um, gates right there. So all of the double manors that we originally had are now in the middle um, around downtown. Um, they're no longer Levin Outskirts manors, they're called garden villas and so this and then we have um, a new layout for camp too so they've added a lot of like trees and bushes and plants and just changed the whole layout of the whole thing there's also a lot more room here and then there's a garden over there with a statue which um, the mayor that is the mayor of the, this camp that I joined in the sea server, they haven't done anything with the statue, so I'm pretty sure that that is the default statue because the mayor of this counts as a guy and not a girl. So I'm not really sure how that works because I'm not the mayor of this camp and the camp that I am mayor of, um, we don't have this update yet. I'm sorry if my voice is kind of going in and out. It's like 3 a.m. for me. I'm trying to get this done for you guys. Um, so I just kind of ran around the camp looking at um, what it looks like. So I'll just let this run for you guys. So you guys can see what the camp is going to look like when we get it. And if you're on C server, then this is what the camp looks like for you now.
And this is what the gate looks like for invasion. Um, it's just like a big wall. It has stairs. Um, each one of the gates are closed and it goes off into like a town part. So obviously I don't know exactly how the invasion is going to go. I just know that um, it's all going to be done here now. And manners won't be attacked when we get this part of the update. So I also noticed that we have two um, camp ponds. So there's this big one over here which does not have the fish so you can um, teleport over here. But um, right over here across the way is the guy over there is the one that has all the bait and stuff that you would normally buy at the fish pond as well as the um, thing to make the taxidermied fish. Alright, so even though Levin Outskirts is going to be a thing of the past, they kept the shopkeep. So um, the shopkeep that was in Outskirts is now over here. Um, it's in the middle where the Devil Manors are. So you can just go talk to him and get that stuff if you're buying from the guy in the district over there. Alright, so once we get this update, um, as you can see, this is not in the middle, and these manors are together. I couldn't go in because this isn't the manor I was visiting, so it wouldn't let me go in and actually look, but this is on the normal part of the map, and it is a double manor, so you do not have to be in the middle where the original double manors are to become a double manor anymore. So. All manners are now eligible to become double manners as long as 
Um, you and your cohab are in manners that are like super close to each other, and it has like a line in the back that tells you that that is the two that goes together. All right. So also, when we get this update, they updated um, the control panel. So this part is so that you can put your manor up so other people can come visit you or see your manor. And then um, this has a cohab thing um, that you can set permissions for your cohab. Uh, it'll show a picture of your cohab here. And then on this side is like the cohab um, want list. And you can also go down here to set cohab um, in interactions. And it'll actually show you everybody in your camp that does not have a cohab. So if you're looking for a cohab, it'll show you there. You PM them and get yourself a cohab. Another cool thing that I saw on here um, is now when you're trying to change your gate and stuff, it'll actually show you right here what it's going to look like. So that you can make sure that you're making your gate look exactly the way that you want it to. So um, that's going to be something pretty neat when we actually get this update. Which we'll probably end up getting this update in the May update. And then, like you see, remodeling even on this one doesn't cost anything. Um, it has the information for your vault and pretty much everything's here it just looks a little different all right guys that's the end of this video please like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time